What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire to the War. Let's play as the Italian States. So to round off what happened last time, uh, we are currently fighting against the British in North Africa. I've sent one of my fleets along to go and start to wipe out some of the remaining British fleets. I'm also manhandling my microphone a bit. So without further ado, let's crack on. So I'm going to go with my usual formation, where I'm going to have my heavies up front and my lighter, sh lighter ships up behind. Um, but that effectively means that what we're going to be doing is keeping my... Well, by keeping my slower ships to the rear, I always like to think that they do respond a bit better. Like when, if something unexpected happens. If something unexpected happens, I've then got faster ships in the back of my line that can respond then it also means the front doesn't run away without support okay let's start off something like okay group line the stern what do I want to start something like uh, I want to start as angled I can as angled as far as I can towards the wind but I also want to watch what the British do. So what have they got? They've got some fifths. I think it's a bunch of fifths, six, maybe a couple of fourths, maybe. One fourth, Halifax. Bunch of sixths. Yeah, it's not really a dangerous fleet. But I am gonna sit I'm gonna sit still and wait for them to move in before I drop my line. Because what I don't want is for the bulk of my firepower to be about here and then it's all my smaller ships that have to do much of the most of the fighting so I'll sit like this and then when the time comes uh, spin my fleet around and take them out Okie dokie. So let's go to my column. And let's start my ships moving. Maybe more like that. Now my ships can open up while going at full chat straight into the head of their column. Well, I might have left it a bit late. There we go. This third rate that says Admiral's flagship, but is not my Admiral's flagship. They are the first ship to engage. Broadside from Fama into the head of Queen, which is a sixth rate. It's not a broadside, a full. Okay, this guy is going to switch to Chain because they're getting quite close. I'd like to put some, put some Chain through Edinburgh's masts. The problem is this is a light fleet, so they are liable to escape from our heavier ships. Okay, so rear mast gone. So Hussar is going to cause some trouble at the head of our line. Edinburgh is going to attempt to pierce our line. Let's try to see if we can get a broadside ready to fire at Edinburgh. Let's try pivot you like so to try and get. Okay, no. You get a broadside ready. Let's also try and get around to Saar. Come on, 
five guns, what? Too late, I'm gonna have to fire. Actually, if I wait a bit, I can get two ships. Halifax could get a taste of it as well. Okay, let's get some up to do chain shot. What's that noise? There appears to be a Morrison shop delivery outside, but I can't really do anything about that. So the reason I'm pivoting this way is to fire my chain broadside into Halifax. Right, ready. Get my lighter ships to spin around on the inside. Yeah, the third rate is very upset. Side just to make sure I don't do any damage. Yes, yeah, so my lighter ships can hightail it on the inside line. guy to move or oh, well. fifth rate to try and get within range of knocking uh, gain range of chain shot from this ship at the back just to try and uh, take out some of their sails all my fifths go at full sail Third rate ship the line is done. Let's try to get you out and around here, you try to get around here. Damn, just fire broadsides now. Especially to Halifax. Third rate sinking. This guy can get ready to face against Andorra. You guys, full sail. third rate can get in there and fire off one last chain volley against all those masts before sinking. No, she sunk. This big maelstrom up here should be fine if I just broadly leave it alone. I missed a broadside up to the north, that's okay. Oh, 
good. Please say you've. They definitely friendly fired Halifax. You sail on. Into this delicious broadside from the fourth ray ship on the line. Destroyed. rest of the broadside at Hussar. She's routing, concerned with damage. Damn, they got the full broadside, so let's pour that into Pandora. It's invincible. Fire chain shot at will. Reload your guns. Attempt to put another into Monmouth. just got whacked. So did Fox. I think Fox is the last one remaining. Yep, Fox is this little sixth rate. Damn right we're going to continue. We're going to knock this ship out. So let's speed up time a little bit as they wander into the broadside of Costanza. Close victory. That wasn't close. We lost a third rate, which granted I didn't want, but we did manage to capture their entire fleet. They have no ships left. So let's see what ones do we want. Don't want the fifth, don't want the sixth. Definitely don't want. Well, do I take the fifth? Because we've got no. I don't really want the sixth. So I'll take some money, but I will also build up my fleet because this could become the bones of a trade fleet. So let's get these fifths into Mallorca for a pair. Damn, I accidentally secured the sloop. Let's get my fleet into Cartagena. Get both the sloops out. Ah, let's get everyone in. And let's fall the sloops back to also to Mallorca so you guys can fix yourselves up. That fleet's joint is repairing itself. 
soon they will be taken. We do have a British army here, which we will take out with our Algiers force. And we're also laying siege to Tripoli. Uh, just one second, guys. I'm going to quickly uh, check something. Just one second. This should be the last time. And I'm back. I've slightly boosted my sound um, because I've I have moved rooms and I've changed recording locations. I'm nearer a window, so I've had to dial down my gain because I've got god car going past. Um, so I have been tinkering with my audio, but I want I'm going to keep periodically checking it to make sure it actually sounds okay. Um, I've turned the gain down and I've also increased the level at which Bandicam kind of interprets it, which I'm sure. Well, yeah, well probably cancels each other out in the end but got to try out new things because i do want to do good things so there's the ottomans they are still existing 20 grand next turn earning a lot of cash denmark is hostile but i want to trade with them but they won't let me but primarily we need to start knocking some holes in the swedes Because right now, things are a bit delicate. And I might move this line up to try and provide a bit more support for this army here. And yet you're marching back up to Venice in case the Ottomans try anything. We're not at war with them, but there's currently very few nations that we are actually at war with. Although we're not, not at war with, I should say. Um, but you're obviously going to march east. It'd be annoying. So what have you got? Three line infantry. Okay, you're going to dis disable that Jesuit college, which is okay. You infiltrate Jerusalem. Let's go and... Actually, no, I want to have more money. I want to be able to get ready to do what I need to do immediately. So I think... Oh, we've captured oh, Seville. Seville has been built. Not ideal, because obviously it's in Spain, but... And they already really hate me. Um, but that should get better. It'll get, it'll get slightly better. Can upgrade this body house to a theatre. Let's get them to start working on some research at least. Although I have to pick the lowest one because right now it's not upgraded. And it'll take forever to work out anything, it seems. Um Okay, you do Diamond Formation then for now. Cool under fire. That was my Admiral that got that. Okay, let's hit N10. Yep, the Brits are marching for Morocco, which is to be expected. And I am going to fight it to just try and do as much damage as possible. So let's do it. I'm not expecting to win. Um, I want to... I want to do a lot of damage. So when my army from Algiers heads west, they've got easier job. I do have fire by rank, so I should do some good damage. Regiment of oh, the garrison line doesn't get. Okay, let's deploy another foot line infantry unit here. Just hunker down. It's not a great position. And they group everyone as I deploy them just to make sure I've got it sussed. Deploy spikes there. And you can't deploy stakes or anything really. To be honest, I should actually... I don't know why I'm bottlenecking my men like this. I should probably do something more like this. 
to maximize their field of fire. Something like that. So these two fellas can't deploy with anything. You guys can deploy a stake right in front of the line. You guys stay back for now. Same with the citizenry. And we're getting reinforcements. So we are going to get shot. Although... Let's get some guys to go on the offensive, because all their cavalry is over here. Mostly infantry on the other flank. You guys take up their positions behind the defences. Okay, they've lured the cavalry in, so keep pushing. So just stay in square. You guys move up. There's cavalry coming in. guys form up and open fire on that single unit of colonial line. My militia's coming up, ready to provide. Now they might engage the units I've got attacking their cavalry. on that flank. Push my left wing forward. African infantry is done. Those bayonet charge the guns. So I want to use this, treat the armoury as a breakwater for the enemy formation. Make sure everyone's on fire at will. You've got someone stuck behind the fence who is jumping over in slow-mo.
take as my African infantry. So keep falling back the line. Wow, their artillery managed to... Oh, they must have been firing at my... been firing at, the, at my uh, general. We obviously don't want them to fight. You guys form square and you guys run over towards the square. Gunners, militia's broken, which is understandable. African infantry's routed. No. Idiots! Like, I want them to charge that, and they decided to run into the line of fire of the infantry. Okay, cavalry's gone. Well, chasing down my militia, which is the same result. Picking away their light cavalry. You're facing the wrong way. God damn, that stupid pathfinding on the 62nd. Charging my garrison. See, I was hoping if I could pivot and break this flank, they could just run around. But, to be honest, it looks like they're going to do a fairly good job at dismantling most of my formations anyway. And the gunner has actually returned. As we're actually struggling to break one unit of colonial line with two of our own. But they are British regulars, so what do we expect? We've got melee action going on here. Yeah, we do. The Brits will win that. They are actually... They are actually winning that musket fight. <laughs> routed, routed. Yeah, let's drop a speed this up. I should never really move my infantry. They're firing at their cavalry? Yeah, go on then. Hey. Some light infantry actually came back. Okay, these men form a defensive position on top of the hill. That's where everyone gang up on this unit of light cavalry will work because they're about to get smashed in the flank by another unit of light cavalry so my men up on this hill joined by this unit of militia an African infantry are going to charge the light horse Fire lock on citizenry can join them. Just try and leg my infantry all together. Let's push these two units up. Just so they're actually within range of the irregulars first. Then let's just try and do as much damage as possible into their lines now. My militia can absorb some of the fire. Yeah, it's 
Let's put this on double speed. Just because right now it's all a bit. Firelock arm citizenry. Just now charge them. You were about to be charged anyway. Okay, you charge the general's bodyguard. See if you can get a lucky kill on their general. Your job is to hold. Hold while my men attempt to try and pick the general's bodyguard apart. And kill the enemy general. God, got a unit all the way to the other side of the map. Actually, if I run them through the combat and then attack from this side, if they shoot at me, they should mostly kill their own general's bodyguard. Nope. Ah, there we go. Actually, my... Oh, that artillery shot. Knocked him out. Damn. Really messy battle. Really, really messy battle. My intention was... Yeah, I must meant to want to do much more damage than that. Oh, they're going to start to boot out our troops. Ah, oh, of course the Russians are attacking us. Not good. Not good at all. Okay, so they're going to take Edinburgh. You're going to go land somewhere, but I'm definitely going to go intercept you. The Swedes are pushing. Uh, do I want to intercept? No. I'm defending against a Swedish attack, but looking at the timer... I believe it's time to end the next episode. So, we well, time to begin the next episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for yet another Swedish assault. Cheers, everyone.